We just thank you so much for today. We thank you that you have gathered us together, that we may worship you as a group, Lord God. How good is that? <laughs> How good you are. <laughs> you alone are worthy to be praised, Lord. And we just thank you for the many blessings that you have given us this day. We thank you, Lord, for all the blessings that are just around the corner that you have already set in place, Lord God. All those blessings that are just waiting for us, that you have there. And I just ask, Lord, that today would be a day that we would learn more about you, that our relationship with you would become solidified, that our relationship with you would become close, that we would see you as Father, Lord God. Oh, I don't know about anyone else, Lord, but I am just, woo, Hallelujah. overflowing with just your love and Praise the excitement of you. Praise God. Praise God. We just thank you again so much because you alone, Lord, are worthy to be thanked. Lord, right now, I just ask that everyone would just yell out one thing you are thankful for. Jesus! Jesus! I love it. We are thankful for Jesus and his sacrifice. We are thankful that he rose from the grave. We are thankful that we are saved by his love.
all this is for all the souls out there at the Isaiah house and the ark. And just uh, said enough's enough. Come know. on, brother. Hey, Hail lost another one. I am free. I am
it is a time of worship. It's a time not only when we're thinking about financial contribution to the body as God has commanded in his word, but it's also about sacrifice, activating our faith. Um, when Jim and I first got married, we talked about Ty, and, um, you know, we were just just married, everything was still kind of new with our finances together and everything, and we decided we needed to tie, and it was going to make things really, 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 really tight, but we wanted to be faithful to our Lord, um, and so, so we tithed, and I'm not kidding you guys, um, the very next week, we got a check in the mail from his work for a pay raise he didn't even know he had. Oh, okay. And it was 15 cents over what we had tied. Wow. Was it 15 cents or $15? Something like that. It was like, but it was like even over what we had tied. And that's because our God is faithful. Amen. And um, we're being faithful and listening to Holy Spirit by being here, yes, right? Thank you, Lord. And God has something that he wants to tell every single one of us yes, right here. Yes. Um, and so and during this time of offering, just search your heart um, and, and activate that faith. And this offering specifically is going to go towards pastor today. I just want to tell you all that. Um, it is going to go to pastor because he is a man of God. And he has sacrificed a lot in being faithful for the Lord. And we want to bless him and bless Pastor Trish. Because they are, they have sacrificed a lot. And so just search your heart. Let the Holy Spirit lead you in what, in what you are going to give. And if you can't give financially, then give of yourself, give of your heart, okay? Uh, and I think that's enough prayer over the over the offering. <laughs> All that was said right there. We just thank you so much, Lord God. Uh.
one more time because, man, the Holy Spirit just said, He's came to our rescue, right? Yes. He didn't leave us that long. Yes. 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 So I'm going to sing this one more time. I'm getting ghost bumps. Oh, Only ghost bumps. Oh, what a friend. Oh, what a Savior. He's always been good. He's always been faithful. He came to our rescue when we needed him most. And he saved our soul. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So we sing praise to the Father. Gave us a son.
child just looks at looks at him and says daddy I messed up yes. and his beauty that we can't even fathom it and we can't we cannot that's why Lord Jesus Christ had to come so that we had someone visual someone Amen. that we could connect with that we could see his love on that cross Amen. Amen. Amen and so I beg you I beg you before you take communion the word of God says examine yourself if you need to repent this this altar Hallelujah. Listen, this is God's altar. Amen. 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 You don't have to wait. You, you just come up here. Because the word of God says that one, one soul that repents, all of heaven rejoices. Amen. And I'm going to tell you, listen, church family, we are that church that all we want to do is bless God with overflowing joy. Amen. 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 We, want, we want Father to be so happy with us. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Our worship service this morning is titled... When the fisherman caught me. Amen. When the fisherman caught me. We're going to be in the book of Mark and Matthew and Luke. And, Luke. and um, let's pray. Heavenly Father, God, I thank you. I thank you, Father. That from the beginning of time, you knew, Heavenly Father, that as your holy body, Lord Jesus Christ, all the glory is yours, Lord. That because of your precious blood, your perfect sacrifice, in your perfect Holy Spirit, that, Father, you would have us all right here, right now. And, Heavenly Father, we're in awe of that. I thank you, Father God, for your beloved children, your church, Father God. Just the overwhelming love and support that only comes from you, Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father God, that we are on holy ground. And thank you, Holy Spirit, that we will continue to do a mighty work for you. So, Father, in this message... It's all you, Holy Spirit, and it's always been all you. I pray, Father, that those who have ears will hear you in such a way, Holy Spirit, that life-changing revelation will manifest. I pray, Heavenly Father, that in the name of Lord Jesus Christ, we bind up Satan and every demonic yeah. principality. Yeah. We bind up religion, yeah. Father God. We bind up tradition that yeah. masks itself yeah. as religion, Father. Yeah. We bind it all up. Yeah. We bind up sickness, disease, yeah. torment. Yeah. We bind up generational strongholds, yeah. Heavenly Father. Yeah. Because you gave us authority, Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah. And only in your holy name we cast it all right now to the pit of hell. Yeah. 
And Holy Spirit. Beloved church, say his name. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, we lose you, mind, body, spirit, and soul. This is your church. Amen. This is your ministry, Amen. Heavenly Father. Amen. And I thank you, Father God, that all your angels right now are assigned to every soul, every household over your <laughs> beloved church and all your churches across this world and all your ministries, Heavenly Father, that all your angels right now, Father God, minister to us and protect us, Father. Push evil far, far, far away, Father God, and I thank you once again, Father, for speaking this word in Jesus' name. And all God's people said, Amen. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. God. Praise God. Amen. So a quick seed to plant. In order to become a fisherman, you must become his fish first. Amen. Say it with me, go fish. Go fish. Amen. Ain't that the truth, right? You see, right now, uh, Holy Spirit wanted to um, address this because... Right now, there's, there's, how, how many of you agree that this world is straight up chaos and busy? Yes. And if we're not careful, we can get caught up in being in that chaos and being in that busyness, right? And I'll tell you right now, the devil loves nothing more than for a Christian to just get in the chaos, being busy, and thinking that they're a fisherman when, hear my heart, they're just out doing their own thing. Right? We, we can't do that. Amen? We, we, we can't do that. And, and praise God, Lord Jesus taught us how to become his fish. And let me show you real quick here in Mark 10. Mark 1, verse 10 and 11. It says this. Immediately. Say it with me. Immediately. Immediately. Coming up from the water, he saw that heavens were parting and the spirit descending upon him like a dove. Amen? <laughs> and that spirit, this is what God had to say. This is what Father had to say. You are my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. God. Amen. God. Beloved church family, this is you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Um, I, I'm not one to assume that you're saved just because you're here in service <coughs> worshiping Lord Jesus. Um, but if, if that's not you, Say it with me, today's the day. Today's Amen. Day. Today's the day. Because I love this. When you see Lord Jesus Christ come out that water, what did Lord Jesus Christ have to do? He had to submit himself. Because what we got to remember in the word of God is that John the Baptist, he was the one that was basically preaching repentance, right? He was the one that he had disciples. Can I get an amen? Amen. But he had a strong following. And isn't it easy for God in the flesh, Lord Jesus Christ, to show up and be like, uh, no, none of this. It's all about me now. Yep. Right? He could have easily said that, though. Yep. Being God <laughs> in the flesh, right, Brother Chris? But th that's not what he did. You notice what he had to do? He had to submit to what God put in order. Amen? Amen. Amen. And he allowed John the Baptist to baptize him. You see, there's this thing, and I thought that the message this morning was going to be about the power of water. And I was excited about it because I was like, all right. And just like Home Alone, I just took off with it. I'm like, yay. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm like, I'm going to run with this, right? And Holy Spirit said, no, 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 hold on a minute. That's not my message for this morning. I just wanted to show you because real quickly, because I thought that was going to be the message, we have to understand that in the beginning, Holy Spirit hovered over. Right. But you notice... How it was clearly said in the beginning that darkness was all over, right? Amen. You see, water back then was an image of death. Back, say it with me, back then. Amen. And then if you notice what happened, right? We can fast forward time, right? And then, of course, what happened with Noah? Amen. Right? You can, you can leave the light off. You can leave the light off. Yeah, please. Thank you. Because um, they need to be able to see that. <laughs> And plus, I'm sweating through my clothes right here. <laughs> and I know our church family is too. Hallelujah. Amen, but if you hear my heart, family, Father God will fix the air conditioning. Yes, Let's yes. give God praise. Amen. Amen. Hey, so please come back. Amen. Please come back. Hallelujah. But I know you're not here because of being comfortable. Oh, you know, no. we're here to worship. Amen. 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 Hey, how awesome is it that we worship and lose five pounds while we do it? Hallelujah. <laughs> praise God. Hallelujah. Only in God's hand can it Amen. Hey man, you want to go to work tomorrow? You're like, man, you look so good. You lost weight. Yeah, church. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah, church. I, yeah, I'm lean now. Praise God. Sit in the service. You won't sweat ten pounds. Hallelujah. <laughs> but, but, but check this out. So we all know about Noah's Ark, right? What came and wiped out the world? Water. Water. Right. 
And see, the beauty is the salvation, the image of that salvation, the ark itself, praise God, the ark itself, that was a beautiful picture, if you look at the poetry behind it, of our Lord Jesus Christ Amen. saving Amen. our souls. Amen? Amen? But then we fast forward again sometime later, and then what happened with Moses? What happened with Moses? What was he standing before that he was like, we're stuck? Water, right? And God had to part that water. Amen? And the dry ground was always there from the beginning of time. Hallelujah. Listen, there's some of you right now that you're looking at a dead end. Guess what? God made a way. Amen. From the beginning of time, God made a way. Amen? Amen? And so you, you see all these things that take place with water. But this is what I love about this picture. Oh, come on now, family. Are you feeling me now? God in the flesh, Lord Jesus Christ, he says, once and for all, I'm going to go into the water. Amen. You see, when God went into the water, now no more is that water death. Now it is living water. Can we get out of this? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Amen. So I love that picture about our Lord Jesus Christ coming out of that water. And once again, the title is When the Fisherman Caught Me. Did the fisherman catch you? Amen. 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 You a good catch. Amen. <laughs> I remind Trish that every day. <laughs> Matthew 14, 30, 32. We're going to go fairly quickly because we have a lot to do. And um, once again, thank you with Omar for being here. Um, I'm only human, as you, go, as you guys know. I know many of you have heard um, from other souls trying to tell you, don't follow man, don't follow ministry. Let me just... Let me just kick the enemy in the teeth and chop off his head right now. Amen. We follow Holy Spirit. Can I get a hallelujah? We follow Holy Spirit. Amen. We follow Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. We listen to God. Holy Spirit lives in us. And Lord Jesus Christ says, and we go. And again, amen. Say it with me. Follow me. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to go fishing from now on. Praise God. And, and, and this, is, this is something that Holy Spirit wanted to touch on in Matthew 14. <laughs> In the Gospel of Matthew, it says this, But when he saw that the winds was boisterous, that, that I'm not even going to act like I knew what that meant. I had to Google it. Praise God for Google. Amen? Amen. Right? Amen. Boisterous. I mean, seriously, how many of y'all ever use that word boisterous? Oh, praise God. Beloved Sonia, of course. <laughs> hey, my beloved wife lifted her hand up there. I'm like, come on now. You're in church. <laughs> You're just straight up boisterous. I don't even know if you said that correctly, right? But boisterous means noisy, loud. So Trish has the right to say that about me constantly, yeah. amen? And, he says, and so it says this, he was afraid and began to sing. So these things that are highlighted right here, he saw, he saw noise, he saw loud, he allowed the noisy, he allowed the, he allowed the loud, wow. He allowed the loud to become something that started to affect him. Are we getting somewhere now? You notice the devil, he has no authority or power over you. Amen. Amen. But what the devil is a professional in doing is being boisterous. Oh. Is being loud. Now sometimes people think loud is being, hey! Hey! No. The devil in his loudest is like this. Yeah. Well, what about this? Can you believe they just did that to you? Preach, preach, preach. Amen. Come on, Sister Dina, hallelujah. Can you believe they said that about you? And ain't that just like the devil? Because all he's wanting is just have a conversation with you. Yeah. Amen. Say it with me, no more. No more. In Jesus' name, I speak over your life, over your ears, your eyes, every gate of the holy temple. Amen. That by the blood of Lord Jesus Christ, God will shut all those things. Amen. And that the devil cannot speak to you any longer. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Say with me, new season. Oh, I believe that in Jesus' name. We all know it. Hallelujah. We are, listen, we're in holy ground right now. You know why? Because you're here. Don't you love that? Praise God. Oh, holy ground. 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 Amen. So, so it, 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 is Brother Joey telling you that no matter where you go, that Holy Spirit's going to go before you? Right. Amen. Yes, I am. Yeah. Amen. 
Am I saying that you can go wherever Holy Spirit tells you to go? Yes, I am. Amen. Listen, there is no power of darkness. Can I get an amen? amen. I think we need to give God praise for that. Right? Yeah. Darkness yeah. has no power. Yeah. The only reason why darkness looks like it has power is because there's an absence of light. Yeah. Oh, come on now, somebody. Yeah. I've never been in a dark room and you turn on your flashlight and the flashlight just stops right here. That flashlight will go and keep on going for eternity. Can I get an amen? amen? And God has called us to go out into every place and show the light of Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. We're going out. Amen. Hallelujah. We're going out. Amen. amen. We're leaving. Hallelujah. Amen. We're leaving. Mm. Say to me, Lord, save me. Lord, save Isn't it beautiful that no matter what you go through in life, because remember, this, this message is how the fishermen, how the fishermen caught me. And sometimes I can get into my own mess, into my own pig pen. And sometimes in my pig pen, I start to make it comfortable. I start hanging up pictures. <sighs> right? Put a recliner in it. Huh? Maybe put a nice throw rug in there. But it gets to the point where I have to come to my senses. And Father, this isn't of you. That's right. That's right. And I want us all on the count of three to say, Lord Jesus Christ. One, two, three. Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Immediately. This is what the word of God says. Immediately Jesus stretched out his hand and caught him. Say it with me. Fish on. Fish on. Amen. <laughs> 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 huh? Huh? Some of y'all fought, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> hey, but you can't fight against God, right? He can, he'll get you every time. By the grace of God, there's many of us. I encourage you. It may be a season, and hear my heart. Hear my heart. We're worshipers. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus Christ is coming back for this church. I promise you that. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ is coming back for this church. And all Father God is asking, no matter if it's a momentary relapse where your emotions got the best of you, listen, we all fall short. Right? But we don't dwell in that. Because remember, say it with me, he delights, he delights. In, mercy. in mercy. It doesn't give us a credit card to mess up. Amen. That don't exist. Amen. Right? We don't have a grace card that we can do. Oh, I can do whatever I want. And then, no, that's straight up not right. Amen. Right? Amen. I mean, by the grace of God and only by the grace of God, Trish and I have been married 21 years, right? Hallelujah. 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 Yeah. It's all by his grace. Hallelujah. Amen. It's all by his grace. We almost got divorced seven times. Seven times. Three of the times, the paperwork was all filled out. Wow. Say it with me, but God. But God. God. I, I share that with you because I don't know what season that you're going through. But I do know when the word of God says that when you call on Lord Jesus Christ, Amen. Father says immediately. Amen. Immediately he will help you. Amen. Amen. So one more time in the count three, Lord Jesus Christ, one, two, three. Lord Jesus Christ. How much good are can they get? They can't. All of heaven right now is going, boom. Man, they are worshiping right there. Living in Kentucky. Look at my Lebanon house. I know some of y'all ain't living in Lebanon. We'll think of another word, amen. Beloved church family, this is God's hand, amen. amen. And I love this picture right here of God's hand because it just shows the condition that I was in. In this sea, in this sea of, uh, it's not just a song, but sometimes this world will make you feel less than. Sometimes this world will make you feel garbage, right? Don't you agree with me that this world likes to put labels on everything, right? I mean, my goodness, you know, it, it, it's, it's amazing because I, I, I never realized anything until there's a certain report. Am I preaching to somebody? Amen. You know, things can go gooder and gooder and gooder, but then you get a report and it's like, huh. Right? And you notice that you get a report and you're just looking at the report going, well, my life was good, but now what's this? Right? Right? Maybe, maybe the report is your credit score. I don't know. Amen. 
Half the room got crunchy. Let me look this way again. Maybe the report was a doctor's report. Huh? Maybe the report was, you know, a, a notice that you only got certain more weeks at your job. Maybe the report is, you know, a, a, a written warning, right? Hallelujah. What, yeah, whatever it is, right? But I'm here to tell you that we have a report. Amen. Come on, bro. And here's your report. Amen. This is the only truth and this is the only report that you'll ever need in Praise your God. beloved eternal life. Amen. The word of God over your life and the report that God is head over heels in love with you. Amen. 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 Hey, listen, you don't need a preacher to tell you. You don't need nobody to defend it for you. You know why? There is no question because Lord Jesus Christ came. He died for you. He conquered death, hell, the grave. And he, he deposited his eternal spirit in every one of us. Can I get an amen? amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. We're going to switch gears and then we're going to get into a communion. Praise God. Say, say this title with me. When the fisherman caught me. I pray that that's you this morning. So we, we, we just uncovered in worship how a soul was going through what he's going through. Amen? And it got to the point where it was so consuming that all he can do is say, Lord Jesus Christ. And the promise of God over your life and my life is when you say that name above every name, God Almighty, all of heaven is like, what does my beloved child need? Yes. And his promises immediately he will help you. Amen? Amen. One more time on the count three, Lord Jesus Christ. One, two, three. Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Hallelujah. But I want to show you this in Luke 8. In Luke 8, I'm going to read this story to you real quick. A woman having a flow of blood for 12 years who had spent all, say it with me, all. Aww. She spent all her livelihood, all her money, everything she got on physicians that could not be healed by any came from behind and touched the border of his garment. Who's she talking about? Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ. And say this with me, immediately, immediately. Her flow of blood stopped. I love this picture because if you study as far as the culture in that time frame, anybody who has a disease is outcasted. But also when you're outcasted, you have to cover yourself because you're an embarrassment. How many of you felt like you were embarrassed? <laughs> How many of you felt like, oh, I'm never going to be good enough? How many of you felt like, because I messed up, I'm always going to be judged because I messed up? <laughs> and it's from people that say that they have Jesus. And it's from people that they say they have Holy Spirit. But here in my heart, they're not fishermen. Right? They're judges. Haters. Crunchy. Don't be crunchy, family. Hallelujah. The moment that you start looking at people and you start judging, yeah. that right there, God is saying, my beloved child, yeah. I need you to examine yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. I need you to repent. I need you to get to my altar. Yeah. Or, or if you're at home, get on your face. Right? It doesn't matter where you are. You may be at your workplace. Who cares what people think? Amen. Yeah. Holy Spirit moves on your heart. Listen, God is right here. Hallelujah. God is right here. Say with me right now. And that's who Father is. Hallelujah. And I love this picture because you can just imagine not only her embarrassment, not only her being outcast, but she also knew that what she's about to do, if she gets caught, she will get killed. So could you imagine being at the very last part of your breath in your life saying, I have nothing left. I have nothing left, and you're all like God, Lord. And this is why you're here tonight. <laughs> For all the love and support to the Lord to be here as one body, but to say, Father, I'm not going to be religious. I'm not going to follow this world. We're going to keep doing work for your kingdom and show, show your love. You carry the miracle and anointing of God. Everything that Lord Jesus Christ did, you can do. Oh, and say it with me, it gets gooder and gooder. Because this is what happens. 
She touched him. And then this is what Lord Jesus Christ said. Who touched me? Amen. Do you like that? I, it, who touched me? Let me do it here. Who touched me? You know there was something special about that touch. You know that for God to stop. Oh, come on now, somebody. <laughs> you know a touch so powerful and mighty that it stopped God. You want to hear something good? You have that ability right now. Right now as you sit here. You have that ability right now in your worship life. That right now you can feel his power because his power lives inside of you. You see the virtue that Lord Jesus Christ is referring to. Let me, let me, let me, let me continue. Peter, Peter and those with him, I love this part, said, Master, the multitudes are all around you pressing against you. And you're going to say who touched you? Don't you love it? Because it kind of sounds like us when we all hang out and we're going out to the ark or Isaiah house. You know, there's all kinds of brothers out there, right? We're all loving on each other. And can you imagine, Brother Chad, if I said to you, man, who touched me? You'd be like, man, you're crazy. <laughs> Bro, there's like 34 people here, right? But then here, Lord Jesus Christ is looking at you, Chad, going, who touched me? Can you say with me, I'm that one? I'm Amen. Amen. And you are that one. Amen. Believe it right now. You are that one. In Jesus' name, I speak over your life that the way you live your life, the way you think your thoughts, the way you speak your words, the way you meditate on his spirit, you are going to release Holy Spirit virtue in your life in Jesus' name and over your entire family. Can I get a hallelujah? Hallelujah! Come on, don't get quiet on me. Hallelujah! Check this out. He said, who touched me? And Jesus said, somebody touched me, for I perceive power going out from me. And that is Holy Spirit. See, right now, it doesn't matter. It's 182 degrees in here. Right now, we're all in worship. Amen. Right now, you can feel his presence flowing. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit's talking to us. He's moving in our hearts. Hallelujah. We're examining ourselves. We're asking God for forgiveness of where we failed him. Father, I ask for your forgiveness when my thoughts go left Amen. on you. I don't want those thoughts anymore. Amen. I want your thoughts of your goodness and your mercy. Hallelujah. Yeah. Father, forgive me when I judge another brother or sister yeah. based on what they're doing or what they're not doing. Yeah. Father, I got no business to judge them. I'm only going to focus on my salvation in you and work that out. Can I get a hallelujah? Yeah. Praise God. Yeah. Oh, it's good and good. Look at this from the beloved daughter of God. Beloved daughter of God. How many beloved daughters of God we got in the room? Oh, my beloved sisters, listen to this. The beloved daughter of God, she came trembling. Remember, you work out your, your salvation in fear and trembling. Come on. Philippians 2.12, right? You work out your own salvation in fear and trembling. See, you, you got to understand this, family. With this beloved daughter, it didn't matter anymore what doctors said. It didn't matter anymore what, what religion said. It didn't matter no more as far as the real estate that she occupied that they said was cursed. It didn't matter as far as the dirt that people kept on, come on now, kicking up on her. All that mattered was, I'm in the presence of glory, and I'm going to worship you, Father, because I am yours, and you're all I have, Lord. You're all I have, Lord. You're all I have, Lord. Hallelujah. You're, you're the only one. That I'm so done with this world. I'm so done with people trying to define me. You're the one that's going to define me, my Lord Jesus Christ. And I receive all of you. Hallelujah. And, and this is so beautiful because she declared him in the presence of all the people. The reason she had touched him and how she was healed. Say this word with me immediately. Oh, hallelujah. Somebody touched Praise God. And this is what he had to say. Daughter, be of good cheer. Say with me, gooder and gooder. Your faith has made you well. Go in peace. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. So that, that's all great. It's gooder and gooder. Amen. Holy Spirit's teaching. Amen. It's all him. Beloved family, don't ever let me fool you. I'm a worshiper just like you. Father God loves us all the same. Amen. And he is well pleased with all of us. We're all in this together forever. 
Praise God. Listen, imagine how good looking I am now. Wait till heaven. Pray for Sister Sonny because she's laughing really hard up here and I'm kind of offended. But we're eternal family. We're together forever. So don't you agree with me that it's time that we just start getting along? Be, be, being like-minded. Amen. Being one in the body, one in spirit, and doing his work. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. You see the story of this woman with the issue of blood. Holy Spirit said this. Speak it this way to teach it like this because he's the teacher. Holy Spirit said, I need everyone to hear that God Almighty Father saw us and we were the ones that had an issue with the blood. Now hear my heart when I say this because it's easy for us to get lost in the translation when we get into worship and we read these stories about these certain people in the Bible. But Father God wants you to know that the whole time Lord Jesus Christ was ministering to this beloved daughter, he knew, he knew that there was an issue in his blood. And he knew what he would have to do on that cross. Because the blood that cleansed that beloved daughter, that precious blood was shed on that cross for you and me. And now that virtue from heaven that only takes place through the, come on now. Let's say his name together, one, two, three. Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Now Holy Spirit has made everything new in you. Amen. Amen. Holy Spirit, say his name, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. So at this time, we're going to um, prepare our hearts. If you would stand up with me. Mark 1, 17, we're going to close on this. Lord Jesus Christ said, follow me. Say it with me. Follow me. Follow me. And I will make you fishers of men. Amen. Amen. This means that when you follow Lord Jesus Christ, as, as we all are doing, and we listen and follow the obedience, in obedience to Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit will show us how to become fishermen. Can you become fishermen by judging people? No. no. Can you become fishermen by being religious with God? No. I rebuke you, Dad. Right, Sister Dad? Say it for everybody. I rebuke that. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. We rebuke that. Number one, the way, you, the way that you are an effective fisherman for the kingdom of God is number one, you tell every soul, it doesn't, hear my heart. You are not the judge. Amen. God is. Amen. So to be an effective fisherman for the kingdom of God, all you tell people is God loves you. You. Amen. God receives you just amen. as you are. Yes. Can I get an amen? amen? Listen, family. Okay, okay. All right. Hallelujah. We're getting somewhere. Praise God. Oh, my goodness. The anointing is so thick in here. How many of you agree? Praise God. Amen? Praise God. Holy Spirit right now wants to bless you with a fresh anointing in His presence, in His glory, in His light. That from this moment on, no matter what a soul is struggling with or no matter how they're living, when you see them, you're going to see Jesus Christ. Amen. Can you get an amen? Amen. How to be an effective fisherman? Number one, tell them God loves them. Number two, if they argue with you, you let them know Jesus Christ died for you. Amen. 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 And hear my heart. Number two B, because it ain't number three, because it comes in that same territory. <laughs> God has charged you as fishermen. God has charged you to lay your hands on him and pray for him. Amen. Can I get an amen? amen? Say his name, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. At this time, I'm going to ask Elder Todd to come up. He's going to talk to you about communion. Um, bless the communion. Um, the ones that serve in communion, I'm going to ask you all to come up, please. Um, beloved Amanda, beloved Rosalind, beloved Kelly, go over there. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Uh, what a blessing honor it is to be here in his house today. Serve him. Amen. You know, uh, just like we are right now, that night of the last supper, they were all gathered together. Yeah. We're gathered together under one accord. Amen. And, and that's, that's Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, <clears throat> they were all gathered together, and it, it, they had no idea what was to come, but Jesus knew. So, so he, 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 he warned them, or, or he, he let them know up front. 
uh, that this is what's coming. Uh, it's a representation. It's symbolic. There, there's some people in here who need to come to the altar, though. Holy Spirit's telling you right now that you're not, you, you, you have something that, that you need to let go. Amen. That you need to let God take. Amen. Uh, I, I don't know what it is. It doesn't matter. It, it, it's between you and God. But Holy Spirit's saying there's a few people who need to come up here and, and repent and, and just let go. Repentance is a blessing, people. Yes. It's not a curse. It's a Amen. blessing. I get messed up, not intensely, but when I do, because I'm human, I've got to come to the altar and ask God forgiveness. Amen. That, that's a blessing to be able to repent. So, but anyway, that being said, we've got to gather together uh, uh, that, that, that night and last supper. And, and Christ Jesus, uh, he took the bread and he, and he lifted it up. And he said, uh, he said uh, this is my body. And uh, you can see the stripes all up. This is perfect bread right here. Because uh, it, it shows the stripes that, that he took for us. Uh, and, and he lifted it up and he said, uh, this is my body, which, which has, has, has been uh, broken for you. Uh, and, so he, he breaks, he breaks it, and he blesses. It. Heavenly Father, we just, we just thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Father, we thank you for Lord Jesus and, and the stripes that He took for us, and and, and, and Lord and, and the beating, and, and that that. <clears throat> thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. But He blessed the bread. He said, "Take it in remembrance of me." Uh, and he turned and he grabbed the the, the wine. <coughs> He also said, this is my blood, which will be shed for all men for the remission of sins that, that uh, <laughs> we get set free through. Amen. Uh, it's his blood that sets us free. Yeah, uh, but anyway, he, he lifted, he lifted the, the wine. He said, this is my blood. Uh, and, and I bless it to bless those who love me. Father, I, I'm, I feel like I'm messing this up, but... but, uh, but we want to do it in remembrance of what Lord Jesus did for us. So, Father, just bless us right now in Jesus' mighty and holy name. And all God's children said, Amen. Yes, and the way we do it, they're, they're going to, I guess, just come up this side and go back up this way. But if we take the bread, Take a piece off of it, dip it, and then and, and, and have it. So if you guys would, we'll have, we can serve you on this side here, and we can serve you over here too. And, and uh, as, as Elder Todd said, please, if you need prayer first before partaking, we're up here to pray with you if you just want to have your, your time at the altar. Amen. Yeah. 
leave this place if you need anything from the Lord. Amen. If you need healing in your body, Amen. I believe it's already manifesting right now in Jesus' name. With, with all of our hearts as one body in Christ, thank you for taking your time out to come and worship. Um, just so you guys know, uh, here, at, here at God's Hand Ministries, we do have midweek service Tuesday evening as I am recovered at 6 o'clock. Say that with me at 6. And then Wednesday evening, we have our Bible study. And uh, if you haven't come to a Bible study, this isn't like every Bible study. This is something where we really get intimate and the uh, Holy Spirit flows through every one of us in the study. And um, that starts at 6 now as well. And um, say it with me tonight. Uh, this evening we're going to be at uh, Upper Room in Camelsville. And uh, that starts at 6 and it goes until 8 o'clock. Um, they're going to feed you, which is always good because we love to eat. Amen. Amen. And um, we're, we're excited because uh, the Lord has opened the door out there to start I Am Recovered. What we do here on a Tuesday night. And we're going to be doing in Camelsville as well on Friday evenings. Amen. Let's give God praise. Amen. Um, we also have our, our, little, um, our little handouts. I pray that you got one. It just shows you everything that we're doing in, in your ministry as a church body. In, in all the things that we do um, weekly as far as going out to Ark and Springfield. And, and worshiping out there with them and teaching them. And I am recovered. And on Saturdays as far as going to Isaiah House. Um, in all the facilities and uh, if you want to be a part of that please reach out in our in our bulletin um, Trisha's cell phone number and my cell phone number is on there um, you can call us anytime if you need anything please you got us in your pocket and um, last but not least we have uh, for a limited time I love saying limited edition for those of you who don't know me everything that I do is limited edition Right, right? But uh, we, we, we do have a new ministry shirt that we try to we try to raise money for the ministry to buy all these books and uh, materials that we bring out to uh, to uh, the facilities. And so um, it's the fishers of men. How suitable is that? Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Brother David, come on up here, man. You're gonna you're gonna close out and uh, you're gonna close out and uh, say a blessing over everybody as we pray. And if you would, sh share with everybody what Holy Spirit told you about, about the sweat. Huh. <laughs> hey, for those of you who don't know, this is Brother Dave. Say hi, Brother Dave. Hi, uh, Brother Dave. Um, the Father was just speaking to me when he was preaching about that. And a lot of times, Holy Spirit will tell me things the same time he tells him. And i got to shut up. <laughs> but anyhow, I, we were talking about sweating. And... Um, and the father reminded me, yes, but my son sweat blood. You can sweat a little oh, salt. So, you can sweat a little salt water. Amen. And so I just know in this time that we're called to um, not to be so uncomfortable in our uncomfortableness. Uh -huh. And I don't want to. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not giving any prophecy here, but we may have to become accustomed to more of that. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. so I'm just saying, whatever it is, God's going to see us through. Amen. 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 But I just. Amen, amen brother. Father, I just thank you so much for this for this time this morning. Father, for this opening opening service. This is again a new work. Father, this is again a new opportunity just to reach the community for you. Just just to openly share Christ and also openly share his love. The most important thing that the people know that he that you love him. And so Father, they do it through us. And so we pray. We just pray um, as we go today. We just pray that peace of the Lord over us all. That when whoever we meet, whenever we meet them, Father, that we have a word fitly spoken to, to bless them from you. We pray this in Jesus' name. And all God's people said, Amen. Amen.